Meanwhile, in the 90s, Britain's Caribbean community had sent back home for some reggae dance hall. Like the people, this dance form's roots are in Africa. But the basic movement of the body is, is all the characteristics that you find out of Africa. The flat feet, the bent knees, the bent elbows, and of course the pelvis, because life force begins down there. In Africa, the dances, all dances, reflect the environment, whether you're springing like an antelope or moving like a snake. However, in the Caribbean, we don't have any jungles, so we look at everyday life for our dances. We had uh, cut the grass, there was um, hand kiat, yeah, from, from the guys driving their hand carts and how they would dip and bob and weave through the traffic. And they look at cartoons and they look at the Jerry Springer show and um, see the people fighting and they make up dances like that and call it Jerry Springer. One, two, one, two, signal the play, bam, 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 bam. It's constantly evolving. The change is just amazing. But the dance hall scene is not infamous for being inventive with form. It's about sex, extremely heterosexual sex. The dance scene is very erotic. It's very explicit. It's been described as a kind of form of uh, sexual foreplay. The moves are controversial, particularly in these confused times for feminism, the way the women dance. The ways in which women would dance, in reggae particularly, and if we think about the dominant form of reggae that came before dance, which was the roots and culture genre of the 70s, you know, there was a lot of couple dancing, and women dancing on their own was very understated. You know, it could still be sensual, but it was very understated and uh, not overtly sexual. But with dancehall, you begin to see women really going for their sexual kill and getting rid of any notion of being demure. So women of a whole range of sizes and appearances now will display their bodies with great um, abandon and with confidence. But one person's confidence can be another person's slackness. Because they would see the girls with their mini skirts up here, and they'd be doing all the, you know, all the sexy moves like pole dancers or strippers. From within our culture, the older people would say, that's a lot of slackness, that's dirty, that's nasty dancing. Clearly, what makes it rude, or slack, if some people call it, is the attire that they have on, because sometimes we're all scared of our bodies, <laughs> and sometimes it's a little bit overdone. But I think it's also women claiming back their power. <laughs> when they're in the dance, we just say, it's them a rule. <laughs> you go to Africa, you see women dancing, and some part of the breast might be dropping out, they're dancing. They got on their wrap skirts and the legs. They're dancing, the guys are doing what they're doing. Is that slackness? Dancing doesn't always look good, but it's about feeling good. And there, the connection with sex comes in. Mm -hmm. Just 